Hey guys, it's Destiny, and today we're gonna to be showcasing Yun Lee and Faisal. I have been getting quite a lot of requests to show this one off, so I thought let's do it in today's video. And before we get into today's video, let me know in the comments down below what one of your favorite Star L characters is. And if you guys enjoy videos like these, do consider subscribing, leave a like to support the video. And now let's get straight into it. So for today's showcase, we're gonna be showing off Fei Shao and Yun Lee. And I'll actually have two showcases for you guys for today with two different team variations. So for our first showcase, we are gonna be showing this team off with Robin, and then we're gonna swap to somebody else afterwards. So let's just begin the battle. We're gonna be beating up Kafka once again. And Yun Li is just going to unleash her counter right there. And, and Fei Shao will unleash her follow up attack. So with Robin immediately, we are going to use her skill just so we can get those damage boosts to improve the team's damage output. And now with Ho Ho, we're actually just going to basic attack here because of the fact that I do actually want to have a good amount of skill points once Robin's ultimate is active. So we're just going to basic attack, hopefully. OK, so Yun Li did not get hit there, but it's perfectly fine. Now we're going to get hit here. And what bam, there we go, boom. And we actually have Robin's ultimate. So what I'm going to do is use Face Shao's skill on the enemy in the middle here. We're gonna use the skill and then we're also going to use Robin's ultimate now. So there we go. Now we're just going to attack with Yun Li. And now with Huo Huo, we are going to use our skill just so we can get some more energy for the team. So now Yun Li will have her ultimate, which is awesome. And we can honestly just, I think, just target the horse right here. So there we go. And now we can use Yun Li's ultimate. She is going to get kicked in the face, which is perfectly fine. And now we're going to do her ultimate. Well, bam, then boom. OK. So we are going to be able to get our counter off. And now we can actually just use our skill and our follow up. And there we go. So going into this next wave, we immediately are going to get attacked. So I'm going to use Yun Li's ultimate. I'm also going to use Fei Shao. I'm just going to use one of her ultimates real quick, just because of the fact that we are capped out. So we are just going to attack Kafka here and deal a bunch of damage. The Yun Li is going to get attacked. And well, bam, there we go. More follow ups. And Yun Li's actually really nice just for being able to get us some more stacks of Flying Aureus. And now we're actually going to break Kafka and just deal a bunch of damage right here. There we go. The so Kafka is now a broken, which is perfectly fine. We're just going to attack her once again. The turbulence is going to come in and she's literally almost dead now. We're just going to basic right here. More follow ups. And yeah, she is a goner. She didn't even get to attack us like at all. <laughs> With Robin, we're actually just going to basic attack and that is enough for the ultimate. So I didn't actually have to basic attack with Yun Li right there. I just didn't realize how close we were to the ultimate. But honestly, this should be able to deal enough damage. Yeah, this is like a clear with no problems. There we go. And yeah, honestly, that was a pretty smooth clear. In my opinion, we were able to get a zero cycle. So that team was pretty fun. And now we have Boot Hill, which howdy partner. <laughs> I absolutely love Boot Hill. I'll be showing him off maybe in the future pretty soon as well. But now let's get into our alternative showcase for today that does not include Robin. So for the alternative showcase, I'll be using Fei Xiao, Ting Yun, Yun Li, and Hua Hua. The reason I'm using these characters in particular is because of the fact that Ting Yun is going to be able to give a nice amount of energy to Yun Li, which means now that Yun Li will be able to use her ultimate more frequently. So we're just going to start off by using Ting Yun's ultimate on Yun Li. And we're also going to be buffing Yun Li just so her counters can deal as much damage as possible. So let's just buff up Yun Li here, which you can choose to buff up either Fei Xiao or Yun Li. I've actually done both when I was practicing this run and either or seems to be okay. Just depends on your personal preference. I am preferring to buff Yun Li just so her counters can deal as much damage as possible. So now we're just going to attack the guy in the middle. There we go. And Yun Li is going to get hit, which is really good because now the turbulence will come in and now Yun Li can do her counter which now we have our counter going on there we go so we're gonna deal a nice amount of damage not the highest amount of damage you'll see from a Yun Li especially because of the fact we only really have Ting Yun buffing and then some buffs as well from Hua Hua's ultimate once that's active but what we're gonna do now is we could just basic attack with Ting Yun and Yun Li is going to get hit once again which is really good so there we go and now we can use her skill. We can also basic attack the enemy on the left. 
and then use Huahua's ultimate, which then can allow us to use Ting Yun's ultimate. And we can just use that on Yun Li. And I'm also going to be using Fei Shao's ultimate on the enemy on the left, just so we can actually break them, which is really convenient. Just deal as much damage as possible. There we go. And now we can also attack the enemy on the right. And now with Ting Yun, we can attack the horse. And Yun Li has two ultimates ready to go. So she is going to get attacked here. And wha-bam! There we go. Oh my gosh, this horse is literally so close to dying. I'm so scared that this horse is somehow not going to die from the scale. <laughs> I hope it will. But if not, I'm just going to spam the face out ultimate in case. What? Oh my gosh! Oh no, Yun Li, why? Oh my gosh, this is definitely a waste of an ultimate, but I don't think there's anything we can unfortunately do there. So we're just gonna use, <laughs> we're just gonna use Yun Li's ultimate and with Ting Yun, we can just basic attack once again. And Yun Li is going to get hit, which is perfectly fine. We can actually do a double ultimate here, which is awesome. I just can't believe that skill didn't kill that freaking horse. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're going to attack some more. And this doesn't matter because thankfully we have Hoho skill active. So what we're going to do now is just focus on Kafka. Just going to keep focusing on her. And now we can also basic attack here. And now with Ting Yun, we are going to buff Yunli right here, and we're also going to use Yunli's ultimate. There we go. And now we are about to <laughs> unleash another counter attack, and wha bam! There we go. And now with Fei Shao, we can actually break Kafka, just deal a decent amount of damage. I feel so bad for Fei Shao on this particular team, though, because of the fact that Fei Shao is not really going to be able to get much buffs, unfortunately. We do have to basic attack here, and why is that not working? Oh my gosh, I compl I like clicked the, the two key for Ting Yun's ultimate, and for some reason it didn't go through. Okay, that's really weird, but... <laughs> okay, now Yun Li is going to get attacked on... Oh my gosh, but Yun Li is so low! Okay, um... We are definitely going to have to heal right here, because this is a little bit of a dangerous situation, unfortunately. And we will have... To, honestly, we could just basic attack right here. Now it's Ting Yun's turn. We could just basic. And now with Yun Li, I'm going to use her ultimate. And wha bam! Now with Hua Hua, I'm also going to use her ultimate. And now with Fei Shao, we actually are going to be able to kill the enemy on the left right here. And we can actually then just focus on Kafka once again. So just deal as much damage as possible. Boom. And now with Yun Li, we do have another counter. The turbulence is going to come in. Okay. Come on, Yun Li. Do your counter. Kill her. <laughs> Hopefully we do a good amount of damage. Okay. He's literally almost dead. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to advance everyone forward once again. Do we have the ultimate? Okay, we do have the ultimate. And oh my gosh, this run has been so scary, but thankfully we did it. <laughs> we were able to get the one cycle, even with the horse not immediately dying and us having to waste a face out ultimate. That run honestly could have gone way smoother, but we were able to do it in a one cycle. So I think that's honestly okay. There definitely is a good damage difference, though, I guess, if you were to use Robin versus Ting Yun, but a one cycle in my book is still really, really good. So now let's just quickly go over my characters. So for this showcase, this is my Fei Shao. If we're just to quickly go over her stats here, and we're just going to quickly go over these. I don't want to waste too much of you guys' time. Fei Shao is holding her signature light cone. And then for her traces, they are 10, 10, 10 right here. I did not max out the basic attack because of the fact that I will primarily be using her skill as much as possible. For her relics, she is using the Duran Dynasty and the Wind Soaring set. And then for Fei Shao's Adalons, I have not activated these yet. I actually plan to make a video very soon going over her E1 and her E2, just showcasing it for you guys. I'm very excited to activate these, but I'm waiting until... I finished my E0 showcases to then activate these and show them for you guys. 
And then for Ting Yoon, our Ting Yoon is really fast. The reason I want her really fast is just so she can act very frequently, just in case we need to replenish a skill, if we want to use a basic attack to get more skill points, whatever it may be. And she is holding Dance Dance Dance. And I personally love this light cone on her because she will be able to advance forward the entire team. So because of the fact this team doesn't really have a character that allows action advance the same way Robin would, or if you had Sparkle, or if you had like Branya, for example, Dance 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 is just a really nice harmony light cone to advance forward the entire team. And this could be really useful just for trying to attempt for those lower cycle clears. And actually, I just realized my model's in the way. There we go. <laughs> I am no longer in the way. Um, yeah, so 24% at S5. It's just pretty nice overall. For her traces, they are at 10, 11, and 11. And then her basic attack is just at 4. And then for her relics, we are doing 2-piece Messenger and 2-piece Musketeer with Spretly Von Wack. When it comes to Yun Li, here are her stats real quick. And for her Lycon, we are also using her signature Lycon. But do keep in mind for Yun Li and for Fei Xiao, if you are looking at it like, okay, I don't really have the signatures. Thankfully, there are a good amount of alternatives that you can consider, of course. I would say Yun Li's signature, though, in general, is just really handy to have because of the fact that it will greatly increase her chances of her being attacked, which is really nice for eliminating some of the RNG factors or at least diminishing some of the RNG factors that you may deal with if your Yunli isn't getting attacked super often outside of, of course, her using the ultimate, then this is just really nice for being able to get more energy. You will be able to regenerate additional energy when enemies do attack her. And for her traces, I have 8, 8, and 10. For her relics, we have when soaring and inert cell Sado. You could, of course, use a set like Duran Dynasty for her two piece, the same way that I have it on Fei Xiao. You can consider that. I just have a Nerd Salcedo on right now because I do want that additional crit rate. Since Yun Li is a crit based DPS and so is Fei Xiao, their ultimates will have multiple hits involved. And you really want to ensure that all of these hits are critical hits to the best of your ability. So that's why I would highly recommend building a high amount of crit rate on both Yun Li and Fei Xiao. And then for her Eidolons, this Yun Li is completely E0. I have not gotten any of her Eidolons. And lastly, we have Hua Hua, who is our sustain. I'll also go over Robin in a second, but we have Hua Hua here. And if we just go through her stats real quick. For her Lycan, we are using Quid Pro Quo. And Quid Pro Quo is an awesome option to use on a team with Yun Li. You will be able to have that chance to give Yun Li additional energy. And because of how much energy Yun Li would want just to do those like two ultimates back to back, hypothetically, getting as much energy as possible is awesome. And the reason why Hua Hua is so amazing with Yun Li in particular, Hua Hua will be able to give a good amount of energy back to the team. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't really benefit Fei Xiao, which it does suck since Fei Xiao does not use energy and instead uses Flying Aureus, but it's perfectly fine. This is mainly to help out Yun Li, and the attack boost will still, of course, help out Fei Xiao since that will just allow her to deal a bit more damage. So I think it's honestly fine. But because of that factor, you can use a different sustain for this team in particular. Like, for example, if you want more follow up attacks, potentially more flying Aureus stacks, then Aventurian could be a really good option. Or if you are more of a budget player, you don't really have many of the premium sustains, you can consider a character like Gallagher. And the reason why you would consider Gallagher is because of the fact that when he uses his ultimate, he will be able to immediately advance himself forward by 100%, which means what you could do is a basic attack and then you have his ultimate, so use his ultimate. And then now you have an enhanced basic attack as well right afterwards. So that's effectively three attacks, which means you will be able to contribute a nice amount to getting a shell more flying Aureus sacks. So that could be a consideration. You don't need to have a Hua Hua. I'm mainly using her as a way to funnel Yun Li more energy. And if you do decide to use Robin, Hua Hua can help a lot with Robin's energy as well with the power of quid pro quo, as well as using Hua Hua's ultimate. Now for the traces, here they are. I did ensure the ultimate was at least max because I do want the most amount of energy as possible from this ultimate as well as the attack. And for her relics, I am using Sprightly Von Wack and Passerby of Wandering Cloud. Passerby of Wandering Cloud is just really nice for that additional skill point. I just personally like the comfortability of it. You don't have to use a set like this if you don't want to, but that's just my personal preference. And then for her Eidolons, she doesn't have any as well. So here are Robin's stats. 
and she is using her signature Lycone. But of course for Robin, you can also consider just her free to play option, which is for tomorrow's journey. And there are also other alternatives you can consider as well. So you don't need her signature Lycone. And then for her traces, they are maxed out. And then for her relics, we are looking at Musketeer, Prisoner, and Spratly Von Wack. And just for this team in general, I do feel like you can use either Ting Yoon, of course, or Robin. The reason why you would use Ting Yoon is because of the fact that she's able to give a nice amount of energy for Yun Li. So she's mainly funneling more energy for Yun Li so Yun Li can deal more damage. But of course, I will say my personal preference would be in Robin because Robin will be able to provide team wide buffs, which will heavily benefit Fei Xiao's damage output as well as Yun Li's. So I just wanted to show you guys the synergy, which I think it's pretty fun. Honestly, I was getting a couple of comments asking me to just try this out, see how it goes. And I think it's honestly a pretty fun team. Yun Li is able to help with getting Fei Xiao more flying Aureus stacks because of how frequently Yun Li can potentially counterattack depending on what MOC you're fighting or just whatever game content you're fighting in general. So I can see the synergy honestly being pretty nice just for being able to funnel more stacks for Fei Xiao. I have definitely a personal preference for just, you know, the follow up team where it includes either Mosa, Topaz, March 7th, and then Robin and maybe Aventurine. I do prefer that team, but this team is just a pretty fun experiment. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this fun video. Um, If you did, do make sure to subscribe, leave a like to support the video, and I hope to see you all next time. Peace.